Hi guys. So I'm making a video of my Ademco 6148. <clears throat> As there isn't a lot of 6148 videos on YouTube, and I hadn't made a video dedicated to a 6148, I decided to make a video of my own. Obviously, you can tell it it is small. It is smaller than a 6150. The 6140 replaces the 6128. Same thing, no function keys. And then one in star, star and pound and three and pound are the only panic keys on this keypad. Same thing with the 6128. They can be programmed however you would like, but, 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 if I do an installation that includes a 6148, I usually, I usually program them for fire, police, and medical. That's the way I like it. Yeah. I removed the wire strippers from the video, so we can you so you can focus better. Here's the zone list. It's the same on the 6150. It's also the same on the 6160. Okay, this keypad is a little harder to type on. Unlike on the 6150. I sometimes accidentally hit the... I have sometimes accidentally... Dude, I sometimes accidentally partially hit it. <laughs> that. Like this. Let me show you the back of the keypad. Here's the back with the back plate on. Let me take the back plate off real quick. Oh. There we go. Now I can show you, now I can show you the inside of this keypad. Thankfully, I have a bunch of access wire coming from my panel, so I can show you. I did that so I'll. So, when I showed you the motherboard of the keypad, I wouldn't get an error on the keypad. If that were the case, the panel would already be powered down. Here's the inside when we fault the zone. I was flipping the switch. Stay. Stay mode. That's it when it arms. Gonna do that handy thing. There. I was just doing that. 
Let's arm it. That was my pers that was the keypad screen. Let's put a zone in alarm. Zone three. Since this is a test, since this panel's code is 1234, showing the code is not a problem. If you come to my house and tinker around with this panel, expect the code to be 1234. Okay, that was an alarm and stay. Let's do a fire alarm. Yes. So it says O one alarm fire. We're gonna clear that. Let me make it come up with I mean I'm Yeah, this isn't suitable for anything other than turning on and off the system. So I put it in a way so it checks the system into thing. So it thinks I'm leaving. But I ended up flipping the zone, so I checked. So I flipped the switch. I have the exit delay set to 20 seconds. So arming it is not a problem. But the red arm light comes on. The green ready light is no longer lit. Let's do... I don't know what that is, but I'm just going to disarm it. There. That is the only thing that it's suitable for. I'm going to put it in maximum. Where we're going on vacation. I, I, mean, I tricked the system into thinking I'm going on vacation. You need... Or if you're, or if you're in a bedroom... If you want to walk out of the bedroom, you need to. If you want, if you want to walk out of the bedroom, you need to turn off the system. Now it's in a way instant. This system is trouble free. There's no troubles in specific zones. one into alarm and then oh five oh four oh five let me clear that this keypad is a little easier to use with people with this keypad is a little easier to use to people with small hands or fingers I should say Let's do chime. A fault to zone and chime is the most basic alert. The chime feature will only work when the when the chime is on and the system is disarmed. You can easily turn this off by punching in your code plus Let's see what zone fault. Let's see what zone that was. Zone 
Zone three. I might have my living room motion as interior with delay. So I don't set off a false alarm when I enter my living room and the system is armed in a way. So I can easily disarm it by punching in my coat. Oh, uh, I accidentally was off topic. This was a video that was dedicated only to the 6148. One more function, the test. Throw the sound blared for two seconds. Since I heard the sirens, when I was armed it away, I disarmed it. Keep an eye on the screen. Okay, the zones work. Now I can turn off the system. The panel test did pass. Also, it tests the siren. I have it set on warble because that's the best tone for wave two. So, all right, thank you, guys. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. See you guys later. Bye!